Hey yo chicken nuggets, I have a feeling today's gonna be a great day. Welcome to Grow TV. Welcome to Grow TV. Hosted by Carl. Where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now once again, welcome to Grow TV. Kids, I feel like it's been a million years since I've seen y'all. How you been? Me? Well, I've been doing uh, pretty well here recently. I got a new parrot named Reginald. I finally figured out how to tie my shoes and I got something really cool in the mail this morning. Any guesses what I got in the mail this morning? Nope, not a fully cooked turkey. Nope, definitely not a spaghetti noodle monster shaped like a monster truck. Here, I'll just tell you. I got tickets to my favorite theme park in the whole world. That's right, isn't that awesome? Ever since I was a kid, I dreamed of visiting Disneyland. And now I'm here. Now, Disneyland is not the same as Disneyland. This one is so much more cooler. It's in the middle of Vermont, and boy, oh boy, do they got the coolest rides. I mean, I've never rode one, but they got signs everywhere. There's a ride called the Exterminator, the Rack'em and Roll'em, the Destructo Dino, and there's one flying roller coaster called Bat to the Bone. <laughs> I can't wait. But can I be honest for a second? I'm feeling kind of nervous, you know? Don't get me wrong, I'm excited as all get out, but I don't know. You don't know what? Sam, man, am I glad to see you. I'm happy to see you too, man. How you doing? Well, that's the thing. I was just telling the kids that I feel a bit overwhelmed. Overwhelmed. Sorry? It's overwhelmed. You said overwhelmed. I'm not sure that's a thing. I agree to disagree. You see, before I got here, I was so ready, but now that I showed up, seeing how busy it is and seeing all these signs. Signs? Don't get me started on the signs. Not just the signs that are like which rides are where, but like the signs for like the bathrooms. Food, guest services, guest relations, guest information, don't walk past here, don't touch this, don't touch that. Keep your hands and feet inside a moving vehicle and also at all, at all the times. It's just too much. I feel like I'm in danger. All right, take it easy, Carl. Deep breaths, okay? <sighs> Do you need a good story right now? You know, to take your mind off all this? That would be great. Perfect. Well, I was just reading a story of when Joseph and Mary took Jesus to Egypt. Do you remember it? Do I remember it? <laughs> totally. So, no? Not a chance, go ahead. Okay, there was a king during the time when Jesus was a kid. His name was King Herod. King Herod, huh? Sounds like a nice guy. Well, the thing is, there was a rumor that another king had been born. You know, Jesus. And King Herod wanted to be the only king in the land. So he made a decision. He wanted his servants to go find Jesus so he could get rid of him. I take that nice guy comment back. That's a terrible thing to do, Herod. It really was. So an angel appeared to Joseph and Mary, Jesus' parents, and told them to move to Egypt so it would be safe from the king. So they packed up all their stuff and in a hurry traveled to Egypt. So the king was just going to stop looking for Jesus? Not entirely. King Herod had a plan to look for and get rid of other kids who were two years old or younger. He really didn't want Jesus around. That's crazy. Who wouldn't want Jesus around? Right? But time had passed and King Herod had died. So that meant one thing. Yay! Jesus was safe! That's right. Jesus was safe. So they were free to leave Egypt and they went to a town called Nazareth. Whew. That was a close call, but Sam? Yeah? What in the world does this story have to do with my situation? <laughs> Well, Carl, if you have to know, I thought it might help you with you feeling overwhelmed. Overwhelmed? Yup. <laughs> you see, Joseph, Mary, and Jesus were living their normal lives. Then a sign from God came, the angel. The angel sent a message, and that message was not to entertain them or excite them. It was to warn them, to keep them safe. Oh, okay. Just like those signs you see all around you at the park, they're meant to keep you safe and to let you know important information. And sometimes, God sends us people, things, words, scripture to keep us safe. Wow, so these signs are a good thing. And God cares about my safety? That's awesome. Woo! Hey there, kiddos. Our big idea today is God guides us to safety. So on the count of three, let's throw our hands up in the air like we're on a roller coaster and yell it out, okay? Ready, one, two, three. God guides us to safety! Woo! <laughs> Great. 
Great job, everyone. Now make sure to tune in next week and we will see what Carl does at Disneyland. See you later. Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of 